it is Twin Plays here, back in another video. Uh, today we're gonna be talking about the headless command. Um, and welcome, by the way, welcome. If you are new to this channel, feel free to click that subscribe button and post notifications. It means so much, to you guys. We are almost at 4K subscribers. 4K is a lot. I mean, a lot. Thank you so much. And once we hit 5K, we're actually gonna be doing another giveaway. Uh, we're probably gonna be a bigger one. I might do like five people, five, like just a bunch, bunch of people, a bunch of stuff. Might spend a lot of money, but we'll see. But we'll, we'll see what we're doing. Um, but yeah, welcome you guys. And if you are wondering what we're gonna be doing today, it is gonna be a, kind of a short video. I'm gonna try and make it as short as possible. Um, we're gonna be doing the headless man, and I'm actually showing you right now the headless man. So if you want to pause this video and just make the script by, and just copy this thing, or just grab the one in the description and models, it will be there. Either one works. Uh, you can go ahead and grab that. All it is is a script in service or service called the headless command, and you just copy and paste this or just get the model and put it in there. Uh, but what we're actually going to be doing is making this from scratch, and I'm going to explain everything from it. But if you want, this is in the description, and I'm going to like these comments say already, which we'll go through again, but um, it already basically talks about what it is. Uh, but yeah, so welcome you guys, and feel free to join the Discord. We just did a Discord Nitro giveaway, and we gave away to two people. So congrats, Waffle, and this one, Dance, I think it was his name. So congrats to him. And also shout out to my people, uh, B and Guy. Uh, I'm actually be making games with them right now, and I'm helping them out. Uh, B, I haven't talked to in a while, but um, either way, they're going membership, so they love those guys. Um, and yeah, uh, feel free to join the group too, because we're we're almost at 250 subs, so that's pretty nice. I mean, members. <laughs> okay, guys, uh, let's pause this video. And yes, like I said, this is a script. Feel free to pause it, whatever. But let's go and move on to scratch. <laughs> Okay, so I kind of just left in my comments, and I basically talked about what it is. Now, as a developer, it's nice to leave comments when you start your thing, and, uh, you know, let's say you share your scripts, exactly. Now, these comments, you don't have to worry about, like, these ones right here, or these ones. This is just going to help me look through it and know what I am doing, exactly, from the last one. But what I normally do as a developer is I put locals, functions, and you put your name, author. This is more for programming with the author and since. I don't see these a lot in common in... Uh, Roblox scripts, but I think they should start doing it more because, you know, let's say the free models, all of them don't have this type of stuff, and it shows who made it, when they made it, and what it's about. That's the main thing I like. So the script will allow players to make themselves headless. That's what it is. So we're going to start off with the two commands, and they're actually kind of simple. And, um, yeah, let's just do that real quick. Uh, they're going to be string formats, and string formats are, like, basically quotation marks, I guess you could say. So let's think of that. Um, but we're also going to go with local. So this is a local part, I guess you can say, of the script where we are defining something. I guess that's like the main this definition of local is we're defining something in the script. And that is because, you know, in scripts, you have to know what, what is what and what's what are you talking about? Like, let's say uh, the command. What What is the command? What is it? Um, it's not something that isn't there. So local is what we're calling. Um, and we're going to call this command because that's what I had in the other script. And it kind of just makes sense. So this is the command. And we're going to set an equal. So local command, and we're setting it what command is. Now command is going to equal slash headless. So basically what we're doing here is if they do slash headless, that's going to be their command. Um, and then we're going to type in or. And you can keep doing this if you want. Keep doing ors, like let's say this. But we're doing two of these because sometimes people does do this. But like as you can see here, there's a space. That's just in case people do a space when they hit enter. So like let's say you typing and you do slash headless and then a space and then you hit enter. That's kind of the definition of that. So that's like a double thing. So that is the first command. Now command two, we're going to call it local and we're going to call it leave command. This is because this is going to be the command to leave headless. And we're going to set it to slash unheadless. Let's say unheadless. And then we're going to go or, and then we're going to go unheadless space. Now, um, you guys can actually change these to ats. You can literally, oh God, I did not mean to do that. Oops, let's go right here again, sorry. So you can change these to ats, like right here, sorry. Uh, instead of slash, you can change it to at, you can change it to quotation mark, expiration mark, uh, period, anything, you guys. That is all up to you, but this is what I thought would look nicer and kind of makes more sense, you know? Um... But yeah, so we're going to move on to all the players and how just the main functions, um, basically. So we could define if we wanted to in the locals, but it's kind of a waste of time in my opinion. Some developers do that, but I think it's easier to just do it right here. So depending on what it is, um, we're just going to do game. So our game dot players, which you could do, you know, get, get, get service players, but we're just going to do it players because that's a normal thing. And then we're going to do player added. 
So this is the function for player added, and we are gonna do uh, connect like that. So we're connecting it to a function, and then we need two more of those, and well, let's actually put it down here, just cause sometimes it's better. Well, this is where it's actually gonna end up. So that should be the first function. So that is when player joins. So I'll move this back up here. It's a little different, weird with the comments, guys. Sorry about that. And you want to think of uh, format. So guys, remember, you always go to the end of your function and click, and you'll see that's what it should be at. And now what we're going to do is we're going to do player added, if I'm right. Oh, yeah. So I forgot I'd do this one thing. we got to define a local now. Now this local, anything that's inside a function right here, that's like a separate name. So we're saying basically the player that's joining this guy right here, um, well, anyone that joins is going to be called player. That's what we're doing. That's what like anything inside these quotation mark means. So we're basically calling a player. That's what we're doing. That's the player added. So we're going to do player dot, I think it's character, right? Yeah, character added. Now normally it'd be better, which I kind of get annoyed, but normally it would like pop up, but sometimes it just doesn't. So we're going to do player dot character added, and then we're going to do connect again. So connect and then function. And then we're gonna do character, because this is a character, and we'll grab this guy again, and we'll actually just string form that right there. Oh, you don't need that. Uh, sorry guys, this is a little weird. Okay, and then, well, we don't need these, we don't need these, we don't need these. So this is when a player joins, and this is when a character joins. Uh, this is characters, this is the player body player character so basically the player and then we're accessing the character accessing accessing the humanoid basically so character and then that's another function and then i think if i'm right did we do okay yeah then we have another one so why we did character was because we need to grab their humanoid you could do it another way but this is easier and then we're going to do player dot chatted yeah chatted and then connect so another connect function and we're going to call it message just because that's the message. Um, and like I say, you can move this down here. You don't really need it up there. And there we go. This is a good variety of what we're doing. So player chats. When a player, when a player chats. When a player joins, when a player chats, the player's character. So that's what we're kind of disabling here, if you kind of understand what I'm trying to say. Okay, so now it's coming to the main thing. I kind of understand what these guys are doing. I actually got help on this. Um, my sync script, and we'll actually go look at it real quick, was we're grabbing the local subject name, and we're just basically doing message match. But the problem with that was, like, it has to be exactly this. So... You could do message match, which I'll show you guys in a second here. So if we do is message match, um, match and then leave command, we could do that. But we're going to do it differently, which I'm going to actually just read off this because I'm kind of confused. But we're going to be doing sub characters. And I'm guessing this is for like string formats too. So talking about this, we're going to be doing if it's lowercase, if I'm right here. And then if it's uppercase, either way, it should work. Um, or it just all has to be lowercase. I don't know why they did it like this, but oh, command, sorry. Okay. So if the must, if the message, if they type a message, if message matches command. So let's say that. So yeah, that's what I meant to say. Oh, duh. If message matches command. Okay. Now we're gonna move on to everything. Uh, we're basically going to do this. So. The one thing that's kind of weird about this is they kind of went off player.character.added or head. So we're just going to do that again. You could do just character, but we're just going to do what they did. So player.character and then dot head. So what we're doing is we're accessing, accessing this player. And you know what? It should just be gr. So let's just do gr. Chr, sorry. Dot head and then dot transparency and i'll talk about these guys in a second here oh yeah why am i looking at this thing guys chair dot face right head dot face dot transparency okay so 
basically what we're doing here, and we'll create that else just in case. So this is where we're making makes head transparent. And then this is where we make face transparent. Now we want transparent for the head and face, of course, because you know you don't want to see their face. But what we're doing is we're accessing the player, their character, which is their humanoid. And then inside, which you'll see, you know, in the player when they like play, you can just see their functions or like their what their parts are. We'll go in the head and set the transparent to one. And transparency is like parts, let's say. So if we were to look at a part right here, you can see that transparency makes it invisible. See what that does. So we're setting it to one. One is the full transparent. So now that makes a face transparent. Else, so else. Now this is where we're gonna talk about if it is. So what we're doing is um, if they uh, have their faces already transparent, which we're gonna do here. So if, and then we can just do, yeah, we should do player.chr.head.transparency. We don't need to do face because we already know that they're both described same thing, equals equals one. Then, so now if we're, what we're checking, so yeah, so if they type, and that's just what we're gonna check first, okay? So if it is like that already, I mean, if it isn't, then we're gonna go to the else and check if it is either right it's kind of i'm not saying that right sorry guys yeah just we're checking right here if it is transparent okay so that's what we're doing and then we're gonna do another one so we're gonna grab that again and then we're gonna just put leave command in front of it because that is the leave command this is like the same three formats i guess you could say so we're kind of chilling um i'm also gonna Move these on here because this is kind of this function. So now, if player head is transparent and they type slash headless, an unheadless, so this is the leave command, then, then, oh wait, no, yeah, and and then unheadless, then player.gr, and then you actually can just do this, and then set these to zero, and then ugh, there we go, and then we're going to go untransparent, and then untransparent, there we go. That's it. <laughs> How long is this video? Oh, shit. 12 minutes, guys. Ah, oh, God, I'm explaining this too much. So, sorry. Just, yeah, shit. It's 12 minutes. Okay, so that's kind of what I wanted to tell you guys today. I hope you did enjoy this video. Um, I know it's kind of long. I, I, I'm kind of going detail now. Some of you guys really want to learn, and I know you do. Um, and I, I hope you understood what I was trying to say. This part was a little weird. Uh, I would honestly do the sync part, if I'm right. So I'd recommend to do this sync part where it's if message matches instead of this weird stuff. I think this means if the, all the commands are lowercase or uppercase, either way. I actually forgot len. I'm not that smart. I haven't learned this. I know this in Java, but I don't know this in uh, Lua, so I'm kind of stupid. But either way, that's what I'm trying to say. But I hope you did enjoy this and understand what we're doing here. It'll all be in the description. And, um, yeah, you guys, I will see you in the next video. So, um, yeah. I'll see you guys there. And let's see. That's about matching. So we're all good. <laughs> okay, you guys, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.